The best kind of prize is a surprise. <laughs> Just something awful, awful. Ready? Ready? Whisked out of a car, quick wave to his cheering fans. New video today of Johnny Depp in the UK where he's celebrating the verdict. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's fight might be over in the courtrooms, but it's far from over in Hollywood. The two continue to butt heads in the theaters and just like in court, we have a clear winner. Watch as Johnny Depp celebrates while watching Amber Heard's career crash and burn. I am harassed, humiliated, threatened every single day. You might have foolishly believed that the Johnny Amber fiasco was finished once the court announced its verdict in Johnny's favor. But the fight between them goes on in their careers. Amber has been letting everyone know how horrible things have gotten for her since the court orders. She mentioned this in an interview saying, I had to fight really hard to keep my career after I got my restraining order against Depp. I lost opportunities. I got dropped from jobs and campaigns. I fought to keep my job and the biggest movie opportunity I had to date Justice League with the option to Aquaman. I had to fight really hard to stay in Justice League because that was the time of the divorce. It seems like new opportunities are now non-existent for Amber. But even the movies she already shot are now in jeopardy. Amber was working on Aquaman 2 when the whole Johnny business went down. And her role kept shrinking and shrinking as the public became angrier and angrier at the actress at Johnny's behalf. Amber spoke about this in court. I was given a script and then given new versions of the script that had taken away scenes that had action in it. That depicted my character and another character. Without giving any spoiler aways, two characters fighting with one another and they basically took a bunch out of my role. They just removed a bunch out. Aquaman 2 was already in deep waters, pun intended, but things just got way worse because Warner Bros. just made a shocking announcement. Warner Bros. is now planning to release both Waka and Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom within the same week. Yes, you heard that right, Amber and Johnny are going to go head to head again, but this time in the theaters. Warner Bros. took a very controversial and surprising decision when the production company decided that in the third week of December, two of its movies would undergo release, the second Aquaman movie as well as Wonka. Now, if you've been living under a rock and don't know about any of these famous movies, I'll tell you. Aquaman 2 stars Amber Heard after a lot of fighting on her part due to the Johnny Depp controversy. And Willy Wonka is known for Johnny's eccentric and fantastic portrayal of the character. The results of this face-off are pretty clear even before the movies are released. And looks like the winner between the two of them is already celebrating. The chances of Aquaman 2 ever coming out of the shadow of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial are over because that's all anyone is going to talk about now. People are going to pick movies based on what side they support, and that's one thing we saw clearly during the court trials. Johnny Depp had overwhelming support, not just from the industry but also from the general public. Johnny is not starring in the new Willy Wonka movie but his association to the character is enough to get people's attention. The young Dune star Timothy Chalamet will be portraying a young Willy Wonka. It would share the story about how he first met the Oompa Loompas, who then got on to work in his chocolate factory. Johnny will be dearly missed by his fans but they'll surely be turning up in droves to make a statement. Aquaman 2 is already struggling in its release. The movie has had a small screening so far and safe to say it is going to bomb at the box office. Insiders are less than impressed by the Aquaman sequel. The general consensus for the movie is this it is a disaster. One person wrote, I'll be honest, we're half a dozen test screenings in and it's not looking great. I consistently heard over the last half year or so that it's boring, not as good as the first, and potentially one of the worst DCEU movies. There were rumors that people even walked out of the screening and if we're any good at taking hints, it's a big one that the movie sucks. It's shocking because the first Aquaman movie was the single highest grossing DC Comics adaptation there's ever been. But it looks like the standard has fallen miserably and you can expect a disaster waiting to welcome you on the 20th of December this year. Amber's movie has been in the post-production stage for months. The poor test screening was another blow to this already sinking ship and now once again, Massive changes are being made to the movie. The result of the test screenings has been so bad that it has given rise to speculations that Hollywood may blacklist Amber Heard if the movie flops. The makers of the movie are so stressed about the sequel flopping on the box office that they're changing even the big plot lines at this later stage of production. A filmmaker confirmed this news and said, I have heard that they're doing reshoots. They're changing a significant plot point. Look, this movie, just like the first one, I'm sure the potential for goofiness is there. A lot of people don't dig that. Most of Amber's scenes 
scenes from the movie have already been cut with the head of Warner Bros. DC unit, Walter Hamada refused to accept that this was due to Amber's abuse allegations. Hamada was asked questions about discriminating against Amber and taking away her opportunities in court but he was adamant. He says she just wasn't a great fit for the movie and did not work at all with Jason Momoa. They didn't have a lot of chemistry together. Editorially, they were able to make that relationship work in the first movie, but there was a concern that it took a lot of effort to get there. Jason Momoa was the perfect Aquaman, and performance in the first movie was an instant hit. But despite his love for Arthur Curry, negative reactions toward the sequel could make him jump ship to another DC character, potentially as the heavily rumored Superman villain, Lobo. We're not really complaining about that though, because Jason as a villain sounds like the perfect treat. On the other hand, there's Johnny's movie that already seems to have a huge fan following despite not being released yet. Willy Wonka is going to come out five days prior to Aquaman 2 and the movie is already looking great. Timothy seems to be made for the role of Johnny's character and the studio is also pretty positive the movie is going to be an instant hit. Timothy is the internet heartthrob and Johnny has all the public's sympathy. This combination is sure to fill the theaters when the movie comes out. Why has Warner Bros decided to destroy any and all chances of Aquaman 2 doing moderately well at the box office? Well, that question remains a mystery. Aquaman's sequel has one of the most expensive budgets for a DC film. Warner Bros' decision to release it opposite Johnny's film is a death sentence for the film and most probably the death of the franchise as well. Johnny Depp's fans are elated by the news. This is another chance for Johnny to prove his victory over Amber Heard and show that the public opinion is completely in his favor. One fan wrote, Warner Brothers announced that Aquaman 2 lost its prestigious Christmas Day release date on the same day we found out JD is going to Cannes. Is this the best day ever? I think so. People are also already disappointed in Aquaman 2, thanks to the horrible screening reviews. One Twitter user commented, I'm more interested in Wonka TVH. It's doing its own thing with something familiar, but Aquaman 2 is kind of irrelevant at this point. It's gonna be a hard sell to audiences that the time they're spending matters. Plus, Amber Heard is an issue with audiences too. Johnny is definitely delighted at this turn of events regarding the release dates. And we can't blame him. Looks like he is going to come out victorious against Amber Heard in the court of the people once again. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.